Hello everyone, I am Rekha Murthy, Assistant Professor uh, from Tripoli Department from Sai Vijay Institute of Technology. I am here to present uh, the, uh, the cycle of experiments which is involved in Electrical Machine 1 Laboratory. So let me explain about the list of experiments which are there in this laboratory. So this laboratory is for a third semester. The title of experiments is the first experiment is open circuit and short circuit test on a single phase, step up or a step down transformer and predetermination of the efficiency and regulation and as well as the calculation of parameters of equivalent circuit. The second experiment is related with the sumpness test on a similar transformers and determination of combined and individual transformer efficiency. The third one is parallel operation of a two dissimilar single phase transformer of a different KBA and determination of load sharing and analytical verification given the short circuit test data. And the fourth experiment will be polarity test and connection of a three single phase transformer in star delta, delta, delta and star VV connection and determination of efficiency and regulation under a balanced resistive load. And fifth experiment is related with the Scott connection with the balanced and unbalanced loads. The next followed by the remaining experiments are the separation of hysteresis and eddy current losses in a single phase transformer. And this completes your the transformer part and related with the generator that is uh, we are going to relate with the alternator experiments that is the voltage regulation of an alternator by EMF and MMF methods, voltage regulation of an alternator by ZPF method and also the slip test that is the measurement of a direct and quadrature axis reactants and predetermination of a regulation of a salient pole synchronous machines and also the performance of the synchronous generator connected to infinite bus under a constant power and variable execution and vice versa and also it covers the power angle curve of a synchronous generator now let's move on with the cycle of experiments the first uh, experiment which I'm going to conduct is the open circuit and a short circuit test on a single phase step up or a step down transformer and predetermination of efficiency and regulation and the calculation of parameters of a equivalent circuit. So the first four experiments will be related with the transformer itself. Now let's move on to the first experiment that is open circuit and short circuit test on a single phase transformer. So what is the aim of this experiment is we need to conduct the open circuit and short circuit tests on a given single phase transformer and to predetermine its efficiency, regulation and constants of the equivalent circuit. So let us see what are the apparatus which we require to conduct this test. Before that, let me brief about why do you conduct this experiment. See, whenever we would like to find out the behavior of any device, right? under certain operating conditions, we need to predetermine its parameters. What are those parameters? It can be efficiency, regulation, and other constant parameters. So here, I'm going to perform the test on a single phase transformer. So to find out the performance characteristics of a transformer, we need to conduct a two tests. One is open circuit test and a short circuit test. Open circuit test is also called as no load test. The purpose of this conducting this test is to determine the core or iron or excitation losses and no load current I0 and thereby the shunt branch parameters like R0 and X0 of an equivalent circuit. So in this test, one of the winding will be kept open circuited and the rated voltage at the rated frequency will be applied 
to the other windings. Here uh, we have to make ensure uh, that um, in case of the measurements are made on the HV side, the voltage applied to that uh, winding. But in case uh, the measurements are made on the HV side, the voltage which is required to be applied, it would be inconveniently large. So uh, here the current I0, it would be inconveniently very small. So uh, that is why uh, the primary side, we are keeping it as a the HV, uh, the voltage, the high voltage side and the uh, secondary side that is LV, that will be kept open. And short circuit test is also called to be as a impedance test. Here, the purpose of this test is to determine the full load copper losses and equivalent resistances, equivalent reactance, which is referred to the primary side or the metering side. So here, with the help of the auto transformer, a very low voltage will be applied to the primary side till the armature is going to reach the rated current. So in the both of the tests, we require the instruments like the ammeter, voltmeter, and also the wattmeter. So the next question arises, what type of the wattmeter do we require? We require the UPF wattmeter and also the LPF wattmeter. Since in the OC circuit, uh, we are keeping the, uh, one of the side of the transformer as open. So there will be a very uh, low current which will flow to it. So therefore, we require the, uh, it is a no load. So the current will be quite low. So a low power factor wattmeter will be preferred for conducting the OC test. And in the case of the short circuit test, the other uh, part of a winding will be shorted. Due to this reason, we require the unity power factor type of the meter, wattmeter. So let me list out the apparatus, the ammeter which we are using, that is 0 to 1 ampere. This is for the OC test and 0 to 10 ampere. We require it for the SC test. 0 to 30 volts. This is also we require it for the SC test. 0 to 300. We require it for the OC test. LPF fat meter. This is required for the OC test. And UPF fat meter is required for the SC test. And the type of the device which we are using is a single phase transformer, which is a rating of a 2 kV. Now let's move on with the uh, circuit diagram. So in the OC test, as of here, we need to connect the transformer. This is the transformer to which we are going to conduct a test. The primary of this transformer is connected to the wattmeter, which is in series with the ammeter, and the ammeter is connected in series with the supply. So this supply, which you are going to get it from the auto transformer. So this auto transformer will is going to provide a supply um, to these meters. And also uh, the volt meter will be connected across this winding of the auto transformer. And the secondary side will be open circuited. So here, what will be the procedure? See in this, uh, Ensure, make ensure uh, that the open uh, circuit, the secondary binding. And uh, here, uh, ensure that the auto transformer, this is an auto transformer, which is in zero voltage position. Close the supply switch. Close the supply switch. Vary the auto transformer till the rated voltage, that is 230 volt, is applied to the primary binding. But when we are going to conduct this test, here on the bed, we will not be provided with the 230. Instead, we are going to make use of a 50% of a tapping, which will lead to 115 volts. Okay, so we have to prefer for the 115 volt at the primary side. Then note down the readings of the no load current that is denoted as I0C from the ammeter and no load voltage that is V0C from the voltmeter and the no load power factor uh, that is uh, sorry no load power that is woc from the wattmeter then after getting all these readings before uh, you take up the wattmeter reading we should remember the k constant so the k constant is nothing but the v into i divided by full v into i into cos pi divided by full scale reading 
So to the voltage terminal, to which voltage we have preferred in the wattmeter and the current, what we have connected, the plate, whether it is connected in the series or the parallel, depending on that. Then power factor, if it is a low power factor, it will be obviously 0.2. Otherwise, UPF means it is 1 divided by the full scale reading of the wattmeter. <coughs> So this key constant will be multiplied with the reading which is read on the wattmeter. After taking down this reading, we have to bring back the auto transformer to the zero position and open the supply switch. The next uh, question arises, what, uh, this is what we have to tabulate in the tabular column. So as I told you, we are going to provide the 150 volt. Okay. Then coming to the, this is about the open circuit test. Now coming to the short circuit test. In the short circuit test, the same uh, supply will be, uh, the same circuit will be followed. The only the difference is this will be short circuited. And here uh, we will uh, prefer um, on the primary side, on the primary side, on this side, we will be having the HV voltage. And on the secondary, it will be the LV side. Okay. So here, here again, uh, we need to follow the procedure that is make ensure uh, the short circuit, the secondary binding, and um, uh, replace this wattmeter with the unity power factor wattmeter, and make ensure the auto transformer, auto transformer is in zero voltage position, close the supply switch. Then vary the auto transformer till the rated voltage current flows through the primary binding. Then note on the readings of the short circuit current that is ISE from the ammeter A and the short circuit voltage that is VSE from the voltmeter and the short circuit power that is WSC from the wattmeter. So again we need to find out the K constant for, the, for this wattmeter and we need to take down the wattmeter reading. Then bring back the auto transformer to the zero position and open the supply switch. Here the question arises, what will be the rated current? Or what current you have to change the auto transformer? Do you need to vary the auto transformer? By default, there is a formula which is there from the theory part that is the KV is equal to KV is equal to V into I divided by 1000. The same formula, you need to apply it here to find out the current ISE, that is KV into 10 power of 3 divide, uh, divided by 230 volts. So it will lead to 8.7 amperes. So we have to apply 8.7 amperes. So the relate, uh, the voltage we have to and the Asking uh, this, we have to uh, we have to this completes your short circuit test. Now we need to do the further calculations to plot the graph of the efficiency, and as well we have to determine the regulation. So we have obtained the core loss from the OC test and the full load copper loss from the short circuit test. Now let's move on with the what will be the formula related with the efficiency. So efficiency is given by output by input into 100 or it can be given by output divided by output plus losses into 100. Then what is the output? That is x into kVA rating into 10 power of 3 into cos phi divided by x into kVA into 10 power of 3 into cos phi plus w naught c plus x square into wsc into 100. Okay. So what is x? x will be the fraction of the load. Right? So here uh, we need to calculate for the different fractions like one by four, one fourth of load, half of the load, three by four, and one. Here in this experiment, you are not nowhere applying a load. So this is a uh, without loading, you are conducting the test for a single phase transformer. So with the help of the losses itself, we are going to calculate it with the different loads that is manipulating in the formula itself, that is one fourth x as denoted for a one-fourth, half of it, three-fourth, and one. Then, here, 
our aim is we have to find out the f input so what will be the input and what will be the output so as you all know that uh, this output we have to calculate it in the watts before that you have to you should have an example what is a power factor power factor is nothing but defined as kilowatt divided by kva okay so i want kilowatt so therefore kva into cos phi kva into cos phi kva can be obtained by multiplying the x fraction multiplied by the rated kva rated kva is nothing but 2 kva of a transform we are taking one example that is 0.6 for this power factor we are calculating like that you need to calculate for the different fractions like 0.4 0.8 one like that okay so that we can plot the graph now here uh, this is how the output can be obtained in terms of the watts then this will be the output what about the losses the losses in the copper loss is a variable loss so this will be taken as x square times of wac so each time we have to multiply with a fraction of a load and w not c is the idle loss that is a um these two losses will be appearing in the efficiency formula okay then what this will be the total loss okay so as you all know that the efficiency is output by the input input can be written as output plus losses okay input can be written as output plus losses so here what you, you can observe this input will be nothing but the output which is obtained plus the losses of these two okay so here after that you can calculate the efficiency for the different trials we need to calculate it then like that we need to uh, solve for the different readings further we need to move on with the regulation so in the regulation you can obtain by the formula i2 into r not 2 into cos phi plus or minus i2 into x not 2 sin phi divided by v2 into 100 so here the i2 will be the rated current and v2 will be the 230 volts and the power factor we need to uh, assume it as 0 0.2 0.4 0.6 0 0.8 0 0.8 so here the plus which is indicating that is for the lagging power factor and minus is indicating for the leading power factor so the next uh, question arises where do you get this r not 2 so there is a formula related with the r not 2 and x not 2 for the and s test let's move on with that So here the R not two is nothing but we can write it as this is the a uh, parameter which is referred to your uh, the secondary. So here it can be obtained as the x square multiplied with the it's actually the k square multiplied with the R not one. So k is nothing but it is a transformation ratio. That is, uh, it is one is to one. So it will be considered as a one. So before that we have to find out what is R not one. R not one is W C divided by I S square. So We need to calculate with the uh, values what we have obtained at the OC test and SC test. Sorry, SC test. Then Z dot one can be obtained by VSC divided by IAC. Once you get this value, then only we can find out the X dot one. So X dot one can be given as square root of Z dot one square minus R dot one square. So once we solve this, we can solve in the regulation. So that regulation formula we have to reply and we need to solve it. Once you get that for a different various values, we can plot this graph that is uh, the power factor for the lagging case and for the leading case with respect to the different power uh, power factors. We can obtain the regulation. For further, we can also write down the equivalent circuit, which is there on, uh, which is referred to your the secondary side. So that is R not two and X not two. So the corresponding values you can find out. So these two values can be obtained by your the short circuit test. What about these two? This is a shunt circuit. So this can be branch shunt circuit values uh, can be obtained by the open circuit test. So for this also there is some formula for the R not. So R not can be obtained by using a formula V not divided by I W. So here, uh, so here V V O C can be obtained from your O C test, and the I W is nothing but it is a component. So let me call that a component is nothing but I W working component that is I not into cos I not. 
Similarly, the X naught can be obtained by V naught divided by I mu. So, how to find this is a magnetizing component. So, I mu can be written as I naught into sine phi naught. So, this completes your the uh, finding the even the equivalent circuit of a transformer. So, this completes the experiment. So, further the result will be the open circuit and short circuit tests on the given single phase transformer is conducted and its efficiency regulation is determined for a given load and the power factor. The equivalent circuit constants are determined. Thank you for watching this video.